Hello all, Roberto here. Today I kind of want to do a little review about these Chinese saws. I'm sure you guys have heard about them, maybe read some reviews on them and such, which I figured I'd just do a video, kind of give you guys a walkthrough of this Chinese saw that I have. It's a Pols Forma G444. It's a, a clone of the 44 or the 044 or the 440 still. When I first heard my boss talking about getting me a Chinese saw, I was like, God, man, it's just going to fall apart. It's made out of Chineseium and all, you know, I don't want one of those freaking junkers. But I was on a job behind a lock gate, a couple of miles behind a lock gate, and I, I left my still. I had an 044 as a work saw in my doghouse and my machine. I left it in there, you know, which figured it was safe, mile up behind the gate and everything. But come come back to work, and my saw was gone. So I, I need a saw. When I'm out shovel logging and such, some logs are too big for me to move. So I have to get out there and fucking limb them, whatever, just to be able to get them to the landing. And every once in a while, whatever a processor can't handle a log, it's too big. So I'll have to buck and limb it. And not only that, but I, I need a chainsaw getting to work. And sometimes, you know, I get there and there's a tree down in the way. So I got to cut the tree out of the way so I can get my trucks in and out. So it's, I need a chainsaw with me at all times. At the same time, I'm not out there working the heck out of it all day, cutting trees or anything like that. It isn't necessarily the main tool of my job, but it is a tool I need for the job. So, you know, with that with that in mind, I figured, okay, well, if it's a decent saw and it, and it will work for what I need it to, just every once in a while to pull out of my doghouse or go grab from the back of my crummy and buck and limb up a log real quick, you know, heck, I'll, I'll give it a shot. And he's like, I could buy four of these for the price of a 461 because we had to switch to the 461 stills which are around $1,100 for the power head because the 441s are freaking junkers as most of you know with their little their mounts their rubber mount set up to just feel like they're gonna fall apart in your hands like a dang noodle one of those pool noodle things so so I was like heck I'll give it a shot so he he picked me up one of these holes forma G44 which it, all parts are interchangeable with the 44 still so it's pretty neat seeing we have a bunch of parts saws and stuff like that at the shop so it, it worked out pretty good and uh so I, I figured i'll go through and kind of give you guys what i think of it i've had well i've had this one and another one the other one i ended up sending out on the hook and uh one of the rigging men he pretty green went to go fall a tree and uh luckily he wasn't hurt or anything but it came back on him he had to bail out of the way and the saw got that the saw was a casualty. It wasn't a complete loss. They ended up changing the bar on it and stuff. Uh, let's see, hey, this, one, this, this might be it. <laughs> I might have got it back. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, luckily he wasn't hurt. That's all that really matters when it comes to that stuff is as long as the man isn't hurt. But when something like that happens, it's like, okay, well, there goes $1,100 to where these saws themselves so uh, $270 for the power head itself. So with a bar and chain, you'll be out of it probably around 350 bucks 360 bucks which is not bad if you're you know just need something to pull out of your toolbox cut cut a tree out of the way and so on and so forth like i already explained you know and my my experience with this saw or these saws so far is the pull rope you're gonna snap that i mean it, it the pull rope ain't that strong which ain't that hard you just switch that out you know and so i've, I've already changed my string on my pull rope because I, I, hell i probably got about 10 pulls out of it before it broke and another thing is kind of bolts loosen up and stuff if you are working it like that i had probably about three hours worth of limiting bucking to do and i noticed that stuff was coming loose i had to tighten up the muffler and you know tighten some stuff up and, you know my dog has come off which even with a still you're gonna have the same issue your dog's rattling out when you don't pay attention and tighten them up which we all know you need to stay up on that so i so this is my whole Forma G44 saw. It's a clone of a 44 Magnum or a 044, which are some of the best freaking saws a guy can a guy can get. If you find one of those old ones, man, they're great. They the fuel, they're so good on actually, you know, even the 461 I've noticed, it, it'll eat through some fuel. Which the old 44 I had, man, it was sweet. You can limb and buck and do everything you needed to do and you weren't constantly going back into filling it up so i mean i did want a 44 but of course buying one off craigslist and stuff like that is kind of a pig in a poke you don't know if you're going to get one that someone took care of or someone that mixed properly and so on and so forth and i have noticed that 
no matter what we do, these things always leak. The fuel leaks out of them. So we always ran non, we always run non ethanol fuel mixed. But uh, I was like, heck, all my fuel is going to leak at, leak out of my tank anyway. So I just been running regular, regular gas, whatever with a two stroke mix, of course. All right, well, I'll go ahead and put some fuel and oil in her and I'll start her up, let you guys, which it has good power. It has comparable power to the old 44. It's not quite a ripper like the 461, but. Like I said, that's $1,100 power head. And not only that, but if this does happen to come missing out of my toolbox or my pickup or, or on the job, however, you know, my, my boss is only out. Which, yeah, you like the old school can? Yeah, yeah those, those are hard to find too. Pretty proud of that. <laughs> you know, so my boss isn't out $1,100 if this one does happen to come up missing. And not only that, but maybe they'll, they'll frown upon it when they look in here and see that it's a blue... Chinese saw and they don't freaking steal it hopefully <laughs> of course yeah we hope our stuff doesn't get stolen ever but that's not the world we live in so yeah everything's compatible the bar is a steel bar yeah 32 inch bar I'm running an organ chain on it and uh what I another thing I've noticed is sometimes which this one doesn't have the problem but these chokes when you go to push it down it kind of has a little spot beforehand where it likes to stop and it ain't fully choked. If you can't freaking start your saw, make sure it goes all the way down into the choke position. And it starts similar to the 45. A couple pulls with the choke on. And Pretty good power. Let's go over here. I'll, I'll get into a piece of fire that I got in my woodshed here. Just kind of show you how how it acts when you're actually working it. Oh, I turned her back on. If you're looking for a saw just to kind of throw in the back of your pickup maybe you know you might have to cut a tree out of the road or say you're a firewood guy and which actually you firewood guys actually work your saws pretty freaking hard so you know if you're going up and getting a firewood every once in a while this is a perfect saw for you but if you're depending on your saw say you're a faller or something like that you know where your saw is your main tool i'd advise just to spend the money and get the big one because you don't have the time to be tightening up bolts and you know your fuel leaking and stuff like that that's that's something you don't want to deal with but if you're like me just a shovel operator need something to throw in your dog house buck and limb a log every once in a while i'd say hey it's worth the it's worth the money just go ahead and go ahead and buy it and see what you think pretty good saw and actually it's kind of cool with the blue coloring all right i do have to say it blue thunder you see fuel leaking out that's why running non-ethanol is pointless just a waste of money but yeah that's my review on the holes forma g44 all right thank you stay beautiful <laughs>